Welcome back to Kerbalize Realism, brought to you by the Kerbal Broadcast Channel. We have 140 kilometer low space film return and unveil in the Sparrow for its final flight January 8th. Unlike the KX-1, which is being replaced with the more capable Delta R2, the Sparrow just has too many malfunctions. Along with, after this speed contract, it's not capable of doing any more. Nor is the USAF's tech able to produce a more cable air breathing aircraft. After doing a few crew reports at different specified locations, she'll max out at 910 meters per second and hold for three minutes. The contract is to do anywhere between 900 and 1,000, but 910 is all it's capable of doing. And then like always, she returns home fine. Unlike Jeb and the KX-1, who after many, many attempts, only ever landed on a runway once, with the very final flight of the KX-1. From the White Sands Complex, Pad 33, on February 2nd, the Kerbkin PK-9000 is heading to 140 kilometers for a low space film return. Looks like it is off and on its way. cloud layer. You can see the runway in the background. Now that it's locked on to the surface pro grade. Gets to orbit pro grade. Target after what Aphis has reached. Starts the plane out. It's ready for fairing separation. A few moments later. Engine relight for the final push. As long as it's going to 140 kilometers, they also want a downrange distance of 400 kilometers. The hope was also to push it to the Gulf, which they fell a little short their booster and then that second little cap that covered the heat shield comes off and bounces off the booster which is always a funny little effect and it gets ready for final orientation so it can drop down through the atmosphere and then we go to the inside camera view to get a little look at the plasma heating But unfortunately, after this view, the external cameras kind of glitch out on us a little bit. Oh, and the fence just blew off. But other than our fins on the top to help keep us pointing in the right direction, everything else was fine. Parachute deployment. There you can see where the fins used to be. Like I said, our camera's a little funky. We kind of got an upside down view. Then it flips around right. And then it's starting to go back around a little weird. As we got R2D2 once again coming in for a ground landing this time. Pretty sure you landed in the ocean last time. There 
is a successful return. They receive one science credit for planetary photography and that'll bring this one to an end. Catch us next time as we go to orbit with the Keck Explorer. Goodbye.